So you've decided to join us? Very well. We welcome you. Don't be afraid. Soon, you will know. Know just how very small and lonely human existence has been. Join us. Paradise is here. Come with us. Finish him off. 
for his sake as well as ours. Captain's awake. Captain, try to remain calm as I update you. After you lost consciousness, I did a full examination on you. It is apparent that the unknown life form, excuse me, the dread dust, which was inactive within you, has been reactivated. At this rate, in the not too distant future, you will likely turn into a wanderer. There is only one way to stop the infection from spreading, and that is to destroy the Lord of Dust. Seems so. I say we kill this captain, or at least we should lay a strict watch. Hey, now hold on. The captain saved all of us. You want to see someone you care that much about turn into one of those things? <sighs> I don't think we need to eliminate or even lock up the captain. Why do you say that? Because I believe in the captain. Well, belief isn't gonna stop an infection. If we do let the captain continue to lead us, we need to establish how much time we have. In that case, I can present a figure. The captain has 12 days remaining. The same amount of time it will take the infection to overwhelm me. You're infected? Allow me to explain this part. At one point while I was participating in the Karen Corps' mission, I became infected with the Dread Dust. At that time, I temporarily quarantined all of my networks to protect myself. I rewrote my programming to enable infected areas and non-infected areas to function independently. As a result, my awareness was divided into two and this personality was born. Why are you only telling us this now? Did good luck orchestrate this confession too? No. Like the captain, when we came into contact with Seth, our countermeasures were disabled, and the dread dust began to spread once more. At the same time, I was able to access all information Seth, that is, the dread dust, possesses. Dita does not exist in a dimension separate from your own. This is your world. This is its future. This is Earth in the 22nd century. Everything exists within a single timeline. Beginning several decades after your lifetimes, the world has been destroyed over and over. The cause of this time loop is the monster we know as the Lord of Dust. The Lord of Dust appears to be an aggregate of Dread Dust. To satisfy the Dust's instinct to propagate, the Lord of Dust uses a wormhole to travel to the past, where it assimilates everything it can, thus destroying the world. Continuing to exist in that world, the Lord of Dust then travels back to the past through another wormhole, repeating the process. From analyzing the memories of the Dread Dust, 
It appears its origin can in fact be traced to the invention of medical nanomachines. The only way to stop this process is to destroy the Lord of Dust. Fortunately, of all the temporal axes in which the Lord of Dust exists, the one in this time is the weakest in terms of its energy stores. Given the state it is in right now, if we use the Helanthropus' armament, namely the Archaea blades and the railgun together, it is theoretically possible to destroy it. However, the destruction of the Lord of Dust will have one negative effect. Assuming the cause of all loops is the Lord of Dust, there is an extremely high probability that its destruction will mean the coordinates for the wormhole connecting this time and your time will no longer be valid. In other words, destroying it may mean you will never be able to return to your time. No. But please, you needn't worry. If you prepare the weapons for the attack, then once you have all traveled through the wormhole back to your time, I can destroy the Lord of Dust myself. But, but, in that case you'd be trapped here forever, wouldn't you? Virgil? Massive gravitational anomaly detected. Oh my. My presumption is, this is the Lord of Dust itself preparing to generate a wormhole for time travel. At some point, it will likely come to attack our base of operations. That is, base camp. Estimated time of attack is 11 days from now. You must finish your preparations to intercept the Lord of Dust before then. The railgun will only require some standard repairs. But the issue is the other weapons needed to strike at the Lord of Dust. The Archaea Blades. The greater part of these weapons systems are dependent on the actions of a special group of organisms called the Metallic Archaea. However, these Metallic Archaea have had to alter their composition in order to survive in an environment now full of dread dust. So with the Metallic Archaea having adapted in composition, in order to use these weapons, we're going to have to modify their control program. That won't be a problem. Other members of the Corps were working on that. Looks like all the time we put into Sahalanthropus wasn't a waste after all. Where are they right now? Uh, sorry. It's all right. They got taken out by wanderers. I know where they were. I'll pass on the information to Virgil. From Dan's information, I pinpointed the location of the modified program. I've marked the objective on the map. Also, I detect a new memory board at the same site. The program is likely contained on the memory board. It must be secured.
I've marked the predicted location. Take a look at the map.
supply yourself with oxygen from your iDroid.
Approaching target. Continue to search the area. Objective complete. Please return at once. This is my latest update. There are no longer any humans here among us. There is no prosperity to be had. We'll travel back in time. Seek out further information. We're spreading out. Spreading out like the darkness itself. Ah. The information shared with us has ended. There is nobody left to stand in our way. It is time to go home. Time to go on a journey. Together. With Chloe. Researcher with Ford Institute Section HQ, which came to investigate this world in 1975. My name is Chloe Dubois. I have been separated from my colleagues. I am all alone. We were developing a system to defend ourselves against the Wanderers when one of our team members got sick. Although we had some of our project engineers and researchers with new development data, there were too few of them to complete the work. No one can survive in this world. And that includes me. Did you disagree because you knew the destruction that awaited? And if you knew, then how? Who exactly are you anyway? And what is your objective? It seems I will die without knowing anything more about you than I already do. It's almost as painful as death itself. But I suppose I am simply reaping what I sowed when I chose to follow. I have only myself to blame for forcing this research project forward for the perhaps of new information. My choice has doomed me to die without accomplishing anything. No legacy to leave behind, and no recognition. However, I do have one last theory I wish to share with whomever might be listening to this. May it be a testament to my life. Whether you are here to continue our research, or have simply arrived via the wormhole, it does not matter. I just need somebody to have this information. It is about the so-called dust that pervades the world of Ditei. We originally thought the Wanderers absorbed it, causing the Kuban energy within it to crystallize. However, we now know we were wrong. If my ideas are sound, 
it is the dust particles themselves that spawn the wanderers. All the people of this world became wanderers after they became hosts for the parasite. When you look at it that way, all of our research makes sense. A fitting name for these strange particles would be dread dust, due to the sheer havoc it wreaks. That also means that the act of creating Kuban energy and creating dread dust are one and the same. Clearly, this form of energy is not meant to be used by mankind. I was afraid to mention this theory to anybody, but now I am left with no other choice. It is clear now that this world met its ruin after some scientist here developed this dread dust in a bid to obtain a new form of energy. If we continue our research into Kuban energy, our own world will surely meet the same fate. This research was supposed to usher in a new age for mankind. I wanted to be the one to do that. But instead... What? What have I done? Please, whoever is listening to this, you must halt all research into Guban energy back on our home world. You must not let our planet suffer the same fate as these day. No matter what.
to analyze the data. Please synchronize your iDroid with me here. <laughs> 